obviously before we get this video started, I need you guys to do me a big, big favor. In the lower description, if you go down my description and check out all my sponsors, there's tons of sponsors down there for Ghost and for all kinds of other people, and there's discount codes with them as well, 10% off, like for example, KnivesDeal.com, guys. Go check them guys out. You get 10% off if you use promo code DFR. 10% off your entire order. I think if it's 99 bucks or higher, you also also get free shipping as well. But there's all kinds of sponsors down there. Go check them out and save yourself a little cash on your performance parts, guys. Let's get to the video. What is up, YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a great and fabulous day, evening, morning, night, whatever the hell it's going to be. The little bit of a part of that video that you've seen was uh, a benefit ride for my friend Elise that passed away in a car accident a couple months back. Uh, I'm going to put her GoFundMe down in the description below. That way, if you guys uh, would like to donate to the GoFundMe at all, you're more than welcome to. They raised a good amount of money uh, on the benefit ride for her, which I'm very, very happy about. And uh, there's a lot of motorcycles there. I was there with uh, Ghost, obviously. And uh, it was a good time. We had food, and there's drinks, and just people getting along, and 50-50, uh, raffle tickets, all kind of stuff to try to raise money for her, her uh, three daughters. So very, very happy about that. They actually gave out uh, these green uh, bandanas I'm assuming that's probably your favorite color to put on the cars and the bikes. I put mine on the mirror. Probably keep it on there for a little bit. I don't want to take it off just yet. You know what I mean? All right, so we have something really, really freaking awesome to do today. It is actually um, nighttime. Well, I'm getting ready to be nighttime here at the shop. I haven't been here all day. It's a weekend. I had my kids this weekend. And I figured I'd come in here and make a very, very quick little video. Um, who knows how quick it's going to be. But uh, a quick little video on checking out a customer's car. A customer dropped a car off that's gonna be here for a while. We have a whole bunch of stuff, as you guys can tell, to get done Camaros and freaking CTSVs and another, you know, ZL1, obviously. Plus there's cars outside we gotta, you know, get to and get done as well, which we're gonna be doing first. But and I, I informed this customer with this uh, CTS um, V, I told him, it's a V1, by the way. I told him, I was like, listen, man, the car's gonna be sitting here for a while, boss. I've got a lot of work ahead of you just so you know, and he was totally okay with that, totally understandable, and I was like, all right, fine, whatever. Pretty cool build, but first we gotta take this ZL1 out of the shop and bring the CTS-V in, and I'm gonna show you how cool this is, and, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna look over it, we're gonna see if there's anything uh, wrong with it, what there is, you know, there's a few things wrong with this car, and we're gonna address that, and we're gonna write out a parts list for this customer then later on, and I'm gonna call them up at a later date and say, hey, this is what I found, this is what we recommend that you do, and we'll see what he wants to spend, and we'll end up uh, doing the work eventually for him, all depending on what he wants done. So, like I said, let's get this ZL1 out of here, and we'll go get the CTS-V in on the lift, and check it out, guys. guys so here we have if i remember correctly it is a 2005 cadillac ctsv this is a v1 non-supercharged ls6 engine but there's a few things that you guys don't know about this car the first thing is this color is amazing i love this i don't even know what they call it this like gun like silverish bluish color really really love this color you don't see many ctsvs in this color but we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood here and take a look underneath and if you guys don't know what's going on here just yet we're gonna help you we're gonna help you along here but it's gonna be pretty freaking awesome so this is an iron block the original ls6 engine is not in this car anymore it is an iron block if i recall correctly the customer did tell me that it is cammed it does have heads and as you can tell we have some random tubing going on here we're gonna go ahead and put it up in the air 
and we're going to see where these random tubes go and then we're going to talk about it a little bit with you guys and i think you already know where this is going but pretty pretty exciting now bear in mind this is the first time i've gotten to look underneath this car and i figured i'd take a little bit of time today just to kind of come in here real quick put it up on the lift and start getting an estimate together for this customer to let him know what he's going to need to fix uh whatever's going on with this thing but as you can tell this is but uh maybe we maybe we'll just walk but there's so many exhaust pipes one exhaust pipe two exhaust pipe three and four ah uh, you see guys this is not your regular ctsv right here this is a twin turbo ctsv almost kind of like an sts turbo kit but not quite exactly the same. I think what he ended up telling me was uh, somebody custom fabricated this kit and then he bought the car like this. So he has no idea about any of the information, turbo sizes, anything of that nature. We got the air filters up in there, up in the, in the back of the bumper. The nice thing about this is if you don't, I mean, if you're looking at the back of the car, you don't know there's turbos. I mean, for the most part, you just think there's exhaust pipes coming out the back and that's it. Other than that, you don't know that there's even turbos in here. Now, the biggest complaint with this car was he has a few oil leaks, uh, mainly oil leaks up front, up inside the uh, engine bay here. It is extremely tight up in there. A lot of tubing, a lot of hoses. A lot of that's gonna have to be addressed. We have uh, oil leaks here going on as well. So we're gonna have to address those eventually. But his biggest complaint was uh, the line. This oil line going, this feed coming from the scavenge pump, which there's a scavenge pump on each turbo. So right here is one scavenge pump. Oh, it actually is. Maybe it is an STS turbo kit because there's an STS sticker right there. But there's a scavenge pump right there. And there's also a scavenge pump on this side as well. And I'm assuming it might be a STS kit. I could be wrong. But maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe there's parts of an STI kit, kit on here. Maybe there's not. But uh, he wanted me to basically redo all these lines. Um, all the, the lines you see, if, as you can see here, you know, there's oil leaking out of here. Maybe take these fittings out. Uh, re, uh, you know, do them to make sure they don't leak. And then also the fittings up at the uh, valve covers as well uh, to help them not leak as well. And I'm thinking about doing braided steel line is what I'm uh, thinking about doing. Some of the other things he wanted me to do was also to uh, put engine mounts in. He has uh, engine mounts and a tranny mount that he wants me to replace as well. I'm also going to uh, trying to basically figure out what turbos are on this kit to see if, basically to see if um, you know these turbos are adequate, if he wants to go bigger if he wants to stay the same size. Supposedly he was saying this car makes around 550. He's never had it on the dyno. And yes, we will be dyno tuning this car as well. We're definitely gonna be dyno tuning this car as well once we're all done. One of the other recommendations I suggested to him after we get everything else kind of evaluated and see how much it's gonna cost to do was to take the housings off, get them cleaned up, take the exhausts off, this part here at least, um, and get this all ceramic coated for him, make it look nice and neat um, and get it to hold up to the weather because obviously the things, you know, these, these turbo systems are really low and uh, water and stuff's going to splash up on them and you don't really want that too much. So we definitely want to ceramic coat some of the piping just to clean it up a little bit, make it look nice and uh, neat. But yeah, 2005 CTSV twin turbo and it needs tires, <laughs> definitely needs some tires. But uh, let's let her down, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to look in the engine bay. It's crazy how tight all this is, how all this tight tubing goes on here and, and stuff. That's uh, it's really crazy, really, really crazy. Up in there like so. We got a whole bunch of rat's nest wiring. We'll probably end up looking at some of this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we'll end up looking at some of that, see if we can fix that form as well. Try to get this thing up to par. That way he can actually enjoy the car, uh, at least for next season. If, if it takes a while, which is probably going to, but at least for next season, he can enjoy this car. All right, as we've seen before, if you guys don't notice something about this entire setup in general, um, the first thing you're gonna notice is this car has no intercooler whatsoever, totally empty down there. It doesn't even have meth injection whatsoever. 
which is another one of those things I've talked to the customer about. I said, listen, man, after we get all this other stuff done, it might not be a, a bad idea to at least bare minimum, you know, put a nozzle in here and, and put some uh, meth injection in this to cool down the intake charge for this engine because the last thing you really want is that hot, hot air going in there and not making any horsepower. Basically, when you have hot air going in here, um, it's, it's not going to make the horsepower that it should. Now, the only bonus side to an STS turbo kit on a car like this is you have so much tubing that's coming up from the back. I mean, there's feet upon feet upon feet of tubing in this engine bay and underneath the car back to the turbos that it kind of acts as an intercooler in general because it's giving the air so much time from the turbo to come up into the intake. It's almost acting like an intercooler itself. Uh, just without the forced air going in the front. But bare minimum, if we would do some sort of an intercooler setup that's going to be a longer time the car, unfortunately, is going to be here. The piping is going to have to be remade in order to fit some sort of an intercooler in here to work. So I think what I might suggest to him to, to make things a lot easier and simpler is just to do a simple meth injection system. Plumb it in right here at the top or maybe at the bottom or whatever the case may be. Uh, maybe a twin a twin nozzle set up on each side here directly into the throttle body to cool them intake charges down just a little bit more so we can make a little bit more horsepower safely and not have any problems with, uh, you know, heat soaking and detonation and stuff of that nature, which will be very, very helpful for a car like this. I'm sure he's going to want this thing to last forever, which, I mean, it's been doing good so far. Like I said, it's been sitting for a year on him. So he's not in a hurry to get this thing up and running and running properly. Um, it runs pretty good. It drove in pretty good. But it does have oil leaks like I stated before. There's the nozzle right there on that side. That side is leaking pretty bad. And then we also have one side over here. And that's leaking pretty bad as well. Like I said, I think a braided steel setup with some AN fittings. Maybe some new valve covers. Some better valve covers to accommodate the, the oil flow coming up from the back to the front would be a good idea as well. Um, probably some new spark plugs in, in, uh, included in all that. We'll get this thing up and running really, really good. Um, it's a pretty neat setup, I'm not gonna lie. When he first brought this car here, um, he waited probably, honestly, he probably waited three months before he finally said, hey man, let, let me just drop it off. And I was like, whatever, dude, like drop it off if you want. And uh, I wasn't expecting the car to look like this i thought the you know by the way he talked about it i was thinking the car was going to be kind of raddied up and you know need a whole lot of work and there's a whole lot of issues with it but when he you know got it here uh it actually started up on the first go around and um and he got it you know he parked it and everything we talked for a while and uh, he told me everything that he wanted done to it and i was like man this car is really nice dude it doesn't look like it's going to need a whole lot to get back up and run into par and dynode and and working properly like it should so uh, that's why it's sitting here. But like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be here for a while. We're not gonna get this one in first. I just wanted to make a nice little video showing another car here at the shop, which people seem to be dropping them off left and right for some reason. Definitely need to get some sort of help here, or somebody to come in here and freaking help me punch some of these cars out, man. Because I need to get this garage open back up. Because we have a whole new slew of cars that need to come in here as well. There's uh, a six jet Camaro that we need to finish up. Um, another truck that we need to finish up. We have, uh, what else do we have here? We have, we have a whole bunch of stuff here that needs to be dealt with and done. But uh, slowly but surely, we're going to get it all done. It's going to turn out really, really, really awesome. But yeah, there you go, guys. Twin Turbo CTSV in the shop for work. If you guys, uh, don't, you know, obviously, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and uh, click that notification bell as well. I will be making more videos of this car in the future weeks and months and so on and so forth, plus dyno vids of the stuff in the shop as well, including the CTSV, which I'm sure you guys are going to be very, very interested to go ahead and watch too. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces, guys.